so you can search around 53 and you can see that scalable and uh, dns sorry scalable dns and domain name registration so i'll go to around 53 So here you can see that actually we have a different different services. The first one, what is it? Second one as we discussed. Then? Then? Okay, so availability monitoring which means health check. So we can check our website health, website health whether it's active or not. Okay. So first I will go to DNS management. Okay. For that you have to click on hosted zone. I've been already created. Eh? Recording. It's been already. Okay. See here you can see that I have already two hosted zone. See whatever the domain name you want to create, you have to create on a particular domain name as a hosted zone. For example, so create a hosted zone. So here you have to mention the domain name. But before you creating domain name, sorry, hosted zone, you have to purchase domain, domain name. That is important. Okay. You cannot create any random name over that is not possible. <coughs> okay. You have to take one unique domain name, then only you can create a hosted zone. Okay. So first, uh, let me just uh, take a domain name. So I'll put, uh, for example, ashik.com. It's already purchased. So even though I'm just giving a random name, okay, ashik.com. So if you want, you can give a description. My test, we can put like that. And we have a two types of domain names, like a hosted zone. What is it? Public, public and private, which means? Public and huh. Okay, which means uh, from public, see from any device, any region, regardless of any region, you can access to that particular domain name. That is a unique. <coughs> okay. So if you select private, actually we'll be have one more option VPC. See, we have to select the region and VPC ID because that domain name we can only use inside our local network that is not publicly accessible. For example, I'm going to take one domain name, for example, ashik.com. So the same domain name, so another organization can also take as a private hosted zone, but cannot use public hosted zone. Public, you, it will be unique in the sense, only one domain will be all over the world, but private that can be have a multiple in a different, different organization. Okay. And as well as when you select in public, you no need to select any VPC or region, but when you select in private, you have to select the VPC because that is, the scope is only inside our VPC. That's what. Okay. So I'll discuss, display like uh, discuss what is a, like a benefit of private and public later. Okay. So let me select a uh, public hosted zone first, then I will create a hosted zone. So if you want, you can add tag as well. Okay. So which application belongs to this. So it's got created one hosted zone. While you're creating a hosted zone by default, you will be have a two records. Okay. So write it down default records. So before one minute, before I write it down, hosted zone, hosted zone, private and public hosted. That's important. Public hosted zone, private hosted zone. Then write it down. Public hosted zone can connect from any network. Public hosted zone can connect from any network. So regardless of any network. Okay. So respective you are from work from home guy or wherever it is, you can access it. Okay. So consider Facebook that is uh, like a publicly exposed domain name. So we can access from India, US or wherever it is. And you can access from any device as well, right? We don't need to connect any VPN for that. So public hosted zone can connect from any network cause it publicly exposed. Cause it publicly exposed. And it will be have a unique IP address. It will be have a unique IP address. So next point, private hosted zone only can connect from internal network inside a VPC. Okay, suppose if we want to connect between two VPC or two VNets, you have to create a peering connection between them, only you can do that. Private hosted zone only can connect from internal network, which is which means the scope is only inside a local network. And can use same domain in a different, uh, where is it? Uh, connect from internal network. And can you same domain from in different organization or different organization? Like for example, TCS also can use ashik.co and bsoft also can use ashik.co. Same as any other different organization, IPM or like any other organization, they can use the same domain name without any restrictions. Okay. But when it comes to public, you need. Okay. One organization, you need. Fine. So next, uh, write down what is a hosted zone. So now we know that what is a public and private hosted zone. So next, what is a hosted zone? Write it down. Hosted zone, it's component of route 53. 
होस्टेड जोन दैट इज अ कंपोनेंट ऑफ अराउंड फिफ्टी थ्री सो वो वी कैन होस्ट अवर डोमेन एंड क्रिएट अ डिफरेंट रिकॉर्ड फॉर डोमेन वो वी कैन होस्ट अवर डोमेन एंड क्रिएट डिफरेंट रिकॉर्ड फॉर अवर डोमेन दैट्स वॉट एक्चुअली वी क्रिएटिंग होस्टेड जोन so there is a zone and we can host our domain in route 53 so we have a two types of hosted zone public and private if you getting any question you have to tell the same way and this is not necessary because we already know right what is a route 53 the why why it's called as a route 53 because route 53 that is pointing 53 domain name or 53 dns that's what so beneath types of record so write it down types of record Where is it? For domain. Ah, create a different records for domain. That's it. Okay. So then you can write down types of record. Then we will discuss what is the types of record and what is the record and why should we use record and we will we'll discuss that. So write it down types of record. Then, okay. So here you can see that I have been successfully created one domain name. So by default, I I got actually two records, right? So what is this record? Yes, yes. So that is called name server. Okay, and here you can see that S O I. The what is it? Start of authority. Okay. So by default, we will be get two records. One is N S name server. You can see that four name server information will be get. See, uh, so we only required one name server. Then why should we require four? For high availability. And this four name server, you can see that different different domain names. See, one is or another one is a dot net. Another one is dot co uk. Another one is dot com. Suppose consider this domain name that is not working. This name server is not working. Then the traffic will go to second one. Okay. And S O A basically that contain all the information regarding domain name. For example, a serial number and T T L and your primary D N S name and mail address. Everything will be there. So write it on default records. Default records. Okay. So before default record. Two records we have. One is NS, another one is SO. Write it down. NS name server. So which contain name server informations? Which contain name server information? Name server information. Done. Okay. Next SO. Start of authority. So you might be get us some question like uh, what are the default records in Route 53? Okay, start of authority. Yes, oh yeah, start of authority. And start of authority that contain primary DNS name server information. Here you can see that I will just enlarge it, just open. Okay. So here you can see that uh, this is my uh, start of authority information. So here you can see that NS one five zero eight AWS DNS sixty org, right? So the same name server information you can see over here, right? So SOI will be contain primary what? Ah, uh, primary name server information. See, so first one primary uh, name server information, second one email address. See, for example, so when you purchasing any domain name, for example, let's say uh, I'm going to purchase TCS dot com. So TCS employees will they will be have one mail address for example Ashik at the TCS dot com right or else uh, Jazzy at the TCS dot com or Murugesh at the TCS dot com so they will be get the same domain name with their mail address right or wrong yes. right so that domain they getting by the help of uh, this second one email address write it down domain email address so S O I basic information S O I will be contain primary name server information and mail address information. So then TTL, TTL, TTL. Here you can see that nine hundred. We will discuss what is a TTL. Okay. So write down TTL. Time to leave. Time to leave. Write it down TTL information. Then serial key. So first one name server primary name server information. Second one mail address and third one TTL and fourth one uh, serial key. That is enough. Serial serial number or serial key. Hmm. Time to leave. Time to leave. We'll discuss that. What is that? Exactly. Time to leave. Time to leave. Leave. Time to leave. Then, so you might be get the same question. 
so what all our value contain on route 53 like soi records so that time you have to tell so primary dns server information and ssl serial key and ttl information this you have to tell email address and all okay done okay so now you can write down types of record see we have a lot of record is available so these record actually we we custom customize we have to create that okay manually we have to create these records write it down record a types of record record a so consider you have a web server and web server having uh, ipv4 address then we have to choose a record so consider you have a web server and when you searching www.example.com and that has to route to that particular web server so there is a ipv4 right so at that time we have to use a record a record i'll show you the record record where we can select and all and we have for a or quadruple a so that is for ipv6 so consider you have a web server with ipv6 address then you have to use for a instead of using one a so second we already discussed ns name server and third one soi we already discussed sorry fourth one uh, start of authority so fifth one cna cna write it on canonical name or subdomain canonical name or subdomain what is the subdomain can anyone give an example for that www.thendomain.com or example contact.superglue.tk yesterday we done right so that is a subdomain domain in the sense superglue.tk that is a domain name but if you creating www. then domain name that is subdomain name okay same so to create subdomain name we have to use c name so next mx as we discussed mail for mail for example ashikatrettcs.com <laughs> my mail address or else rageshatrettcs.com we will be get the same uh, like uh, mail address okay what about the company name mail exchange server information mx record will call it as mx mx records uh, next one txt txt for user for domain verification so that is on you so for that uh, we have to use txt record so next we have a ptr record pointer record what is a pointer record any idea ha huh. see for example uh, so consider you don't know like what is a facebook ip address how to find ha huh? no suppose if you want to find facebook ip address i don't know what is a facebook ip address first of all how to find out ha eh? facebook ip address ah so i'll show you that see open your command prompt then you can search ns lookup okay ns lookup then you can provide the domain name for example facebook.com it will provide facebook.com domain name so here you can see that 157 240 and 195 sorry 192 35 i'll go to my uh, tab then i'll search over you and you can see that it is redirecting redirecting to facebook.com so let me just click over you and you can see that facebook.com right actually we don't know what is the public ip address of facebook.com but even i'm not able to access right by using ns lookup same as you know the public ip address but you don't know what is the domain name how to find you don't know the public ip address uh, you don't know the domain name but you know the public ip address reverse invert hmm so what should i do so instead of domain name so i have to use ip address and it's going to give hr minish uh, facebook.com see that's providing facebook.com domain name that's it you getting the concept right so that is called reverse forward and reverse forward in the sense i uh, domain name to ip reverse in the sense ip to domain that's what to achieve that actually we going to use ptr record write down ptr record pointer record ptr so that's very important forward and reverse record so next one srv service record and uh, service record that comprises host name location domain name information for example consider you purchase on domain name and you want to find so from where he purchased this domain name? for example he purchased from us us server wherever it is so that information will be contained over here in service record okay service record comprises host name location domain information for example one domain has been purchased one uh, one faculty or whatever it is his name is a murugesh whatever it is okay and you will be able to find over there the domain owner is murugesh okay so the information will be contained on service record srv record any doubt any doubt 
No. Hmm? Done. Okay. So now we are going to discuss about TTL. What is a TTL? Okay. What is it exactly? Why should we call it as a TTL and where it is exactly impact? So that's my question. Eh? Huh? Session. Ah. Session. Ah. Session, which means? Ah. Ah. So there is a limit for the uh, ah. TTL. If we are not operating anything, uh. it's not going to be expired. Okay. So which means, uh, see, so write it down. First, TTL. Write it down. TTL, that's very important. I'll show you the demo. Write it down, TTL. So TTL, uh, write down, it refers to length of time. TTL, it refers to length of time. That a DNS record is cached by a DNS resolver or local cache, your system. In AWS, we can have a 60 second to 48 TTL. So just write it down over here till cache. The next point in AWS, we can have 60 to 48 hours TTL. So it refers to the length of time or total amount of time the DNS record is cached by DNS resolver or local cache. It refers to length of time that DNS record is a cached by a DNS resolver or local cache. Okay. Okay. So I'll show you the demo. So first I will create two server. Then I'll show you the demo. Okay. Listen. So I'll go to my virtual machine. I'll create two virtual machine first. Listen. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. VC2. I'm going to give a user data as well. Listen, listen. So now I successfully created two virtual machines. One is a VM1, another one is a VM2. Listen, listen. Listen. VM1 and VM2. Okay, this is my virtual machine 1 and this is my virtual machine 2. Let me connect my virtual machine 1. To connect virtual machine, either you can uh, copy the public API address or else you can click on open. Let's try. First, I will copy this and I will paste over you. It's working, right? So same as I will just click over then I will uh, open address. But that is not working. Why? Yes. See, so by default it will take HTTPS. Here you can see that HTTPS. So we have to remove yes, then we will be getting. Okay, that's good. Okay, fine. Anyway, I am getting home page from my first server. I will get the second server as well. Second server. Get this and paste. Yeah, I am getting home page. Right. So here you can see that uh, how many virtual machine I have? Two. One, two. So what is the first virtual machine? Last IP address. Last one. Last bit. One, one zero four. Second one? One, one, four. Right. So just keep in mind. Okay. So I'll get the first virtual machine. Then I'll copy virtual machine IP address. Uh, I'll go to my route 53. So in route 53, I will create a record. Okay. 
so let me create a record record a so here i will create ttl ttl dot ashik dot com we can create any record i'm going to create record a okay so then paste your ip address 104 so here you can see that ttl that's a 300 second or as we can specify one minute and minimum is one minute, one minute 60 second maximum 48 hours okay i will select 60 second okay because i want to keep my ip address information only 60 second dns resolver or else my local cache okay so let's create a record just click on create successfully created uh, my record ttl.ashik.com right so when i'm searching ttl.ashik.com i'll be get which ip address 104 right okay let me try so we have to wait couple of seconds I will check whether it is a coming or not. TTL dot. I so that is not working right because actually that domain we not purchase right. That is okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'll go to hosted zone. Okay. So I will take a super glue TK. Already we purchased yesterday itself. I, I'll just open this. Create a record. Same step. I'll repeat over you. TTL then public ap address then i will select 160 second that's enough create a record yeah successfully done let's wait uh, one minute so let's wait one minute so uh, it will propagate all over the world then we will try so ip address ending with 104 right mm. Yeah, so we are able to access 104, right or wrong? Yes. yes. So I'll go to my uh, command prompt. So then I will se select NS lookup. Okay. So I'll do one thing. Instead of using NS lookup, I can go to Linux. Okay. So let me go to one Linux server because Linux server that will support DAG2, domain information grip or uh, gropper. So I'll show you that. Same as uh, NS lookup. So we can use DAG tool as well. So the benefit I'll discuss sudo su. Let me become root. Okay. So now I will execute DIG. What is my domain name? TTL <laughs> superglue dot TK. End. And here you can see that superglue T. What is the TTL? What is the IP address? Okay. I'll refresh it again. So what is the TTL now? 52. I'll go to my uh, route 53. Okay. Let me do one thing. So let it finish zero. Then I will change my IP address. Okay. Now 41, right? So once it come to zero, I will change my IP address. Okay. So even if I change my IP address, still I'm able to access 104. You getting after 60 seconds, automatically it will change to 114 IP address, new IP address. I'll show you that. So what is the TTL now? 24. Okay. Let it make it 20. Eighty. Okay, I'll get the public AP address from my second virtual machine. So that is ending with one one four. Get me the public AP address. Now it's a four, right? One. Okay, zero. I'll quickly I'll go to my route fifty three. Okay, funny wait here. So let's wait one more minute. Let's wait. So what is the TTL now? What is the TTL? Five. Five. Five, right? I'll execute. What now? Two. Two. Now it's a five, right? Five again. Two. Two. No, one. Now? <laughs> wait, wait. So that has to be changed. Allah, <laughs> Allah. What about now? Mario, Mario, Mario. Eh? 
ഓ വെറുതെ അല്ലാതാണ് കിട്ടാത്തത് അല്ലല്ല അത് വേറെ തെറ്റുണ്ട് ഡൊമൈനിയം തെറ്റുണ്ട് വൺ മിനിറ്റ് സി സൂപ്പർ ഗ്ലൂ ഡോ ടി കെ റൈറ്റ് സെനൈറ്റ്സ് ഓക്കെ വാട്ട് ഇസ് നൗ വാട്ട് അബൌട്ട് നൗ ഐ വിൽ ഗോ ടു മൈ സൂപ്പർ ഗ്ലൂ അഗൈൻ സോ ഐ വിൽ ചേഞ്ച് ഇസ് ലിസൺ ലിസൺ ഐ വിൽ ചേഞ്ച് മൈ ജസ്റ്റ് സെലക്ട് ദിസ് എഡിറ്റ് റെക്കോർഡ് ആൻഡ് സോറി നോട്ട് ദിസ് റെക്കോർഡ് ഐ വിൽ ഗോ ടു ടി ടി എൽ സോ ഗോ ടു എഡിറ്റ് റെക്കോർഡ് ആൻഡ് ചേഞ്ച് ദിസ് ഐ പി അഡ്രസ് നൗ വൺ വൺ ഫോർ റൈറ്റ് End. Okay. I'll go to my virtual machine. So what is the IP address you can see over here? Sorry? 104. What is the time length? 34 second. What about now? 26, right? So once it's zero, so this will automatically change. So the next re recall will be start after zero. That's what TTL. The maximum amount of time, so the IP address will be stored in a local cache or local system or your DNS resolver, wherever it is. So let's refresh. Eight. See, still you can see that all IP address, right? Refresh. Three. So after zero, you will be able to find one one four. What is now? One four four. That's it. So that is called TTL. So the maximum amount of time, so the IP address information will be cached in our DNS server. After zero, automatically they will take a record. That's it. Okay. I hope you understood uh, the concept of TTL. Any doubt? Any doubt? No. Okay. So now let's discuss about Are you going to say it? 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 അവിടെ റെക്കോർഡ് മാറ്റില്ല ഓൾറെഡി വൺ വൺ ഫോർ അല്ലേ ഇപ്പൊ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഡൗൺ ഏലിയാസ് 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 എടാ അത് എടാ ഈ നമ്മുടെ കമ്പനീസ് ഇടക്കിടക്ക് ഐ പി മാറ്റിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കും സെർവർ ഡൗൺ ആയി കഴിഞ്ഞാലൊക്കെ അപ്പൊ ഇത്ര സമയം കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് പിന്നെ അടുത്ത കോഡ് നടത്തുള്ളൂ അപ്പൊ യൂസർ ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ പഴയ കണ്ടന്റ് കിട്ടുക പഴയ ഐ പി അഡ്രസ് ഒന്ന് പുതിയ കണ്ടന്റ് ആവൂല അപ്പൊ രണ്ട് ദിവസം നിന്റെ ടിറ്റിൽ എഴുതിക്കോ പഴയ കണ്ടന്റാ കിട്ടുന്നത് മനസ്സിലായി പുതിയത് കൊടുത്തു റൈഡ് ഇട്ട് ഓൺ വാട്ട് ഈസ് സോറി വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഏലിയാസ് അത് നമ്മൾ കമ്പനി പറയുമ്പോൾ വരൂടാ എന്തായാലും വരും റൈഡ് ഇട്ടോ നമുക്ക് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാം അപ്പൊ ടൈമിൽ എടുത്ത് തീർക്കേണ്ടെന്ന് അതുകൊണ്ടാ റൈഡ് ഓൺ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ കോമ്പോണൻറ്റ് റൈഡ് ഇട്ടോൺ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ കോമ്പോണൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് റൌട്ട് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ത്രീ ടി സോറി ടി ടി നോട്ട് ടി ടി എൽ ഏലിയാസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ കോമ്പോണൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് റൌട്ട് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ത്രീ use it to take aws service endpoint source use it to take aws service endpoint source such as load balancer s3 bucket elastic beanstalk and cloud front api gateways if you want you can write down all or else you can give a small two example like load balancer and cloud front that's enough so what is the alias so what do you understood from alias ha huh. see for example actually we not getting any ip address for load balancer right if you want to create a domain name for load balancer we have to use alias yesterday we were integrating domain name with alias right load balancer domain name with alias that's what okay same as if you creating s3 static website so we will be get one link right so that is a endpoint link so you have to go to route 53 in route 53 we have an option over here so create your record so under record we will be have an option alias see yes. alias so just click on alias under alias we will be have an option route traffic to where okay so i will select select the traffic information as endpoint information for example s3 bucket or else you can give application load balancer elastic beanstalk that is a managed service provided by aws so cloud front that is a distribution service of cdn and we have a app sync and we have app render api gateway okay so we'll discuss that later but uh, you might be familiar with application load balancer and s3 bucket right right okay suppose if we want to create a domain name for a load balancer so we will not get any what public ip address right so instead of that you have to select your application load balancer and take your region and uh, at last you have to select the endpoint name that's it okay that is alias okay 
Uh, what is the DNS firewall? So when we discussing VPC, we were discussing about DNS firewall, domain name system firewall. What is it? No. 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 What is it? So first, write down the definition of DNS firewall. Then we'll discuss what is the DNS firewall. So I've been already discussed and I've been already done the demo as well. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Anyway, write down. So by using DNS firewall. By using DNS firewall, we can regulate VPC outbound traffic. What does it mean? See, when you're searching from one virtual machine, Google.com, it should not access Google.com. So that you can restrict by the help of DNS firewall. That's it. Okay. But you can access Google.com by using public API address, Google public API address. That's possible. But you cannot access by using DNS name. Allah. So we have a separate service for that. See. If I go first, you have to write it down. Uh, by using DNS firewall, we can regulate VPC outbound traffic. WAF is a different concept, and network firewall that is a different concept, and network firewall like a custom is that is a different concept. Same as DNS firewall that is a different concept. So we have a different different concept. See, if I go to Route 53, we will be have an option on left side. You can see that uh, we have a domain uh, traffic flow, and we have DNS firewall over here. Where is DNS firewall? See, role groups and domain list, right? So the same you can see uh, in VPC as well. I'll go to my VPC. I'll show you that. So let me go to VPC. Then I'll show you that. VPC. Open your VPC service. So in VPC service, you'll be able to find the same. So are you able to find that? See, DNS firewall, role groups and domain list. We have been already discussed about this topic, right? Have been already created video as well. okay. We can regulate outbound traffic from your VPC. So consider you have a ten virtual machine on your VPC, and you don't want to access one particular website from virtual machine. Then you have to create what DNS, DNS firewall. You can regulate your outbound traffic, not inbound, inbound traffic, outbound traffic. To restrict inbound traffic, we have to use web application firewall or network firewall or gateway load balancer. So we have to use that. Okay, so Maya, you forgot. Uh, I understood. Okay, fine. Uh, next topic, uh, we'll discuss that later. Okay, so now we're going to discuss about routing policies. Okay, so write it on first one. Routing policies simple. Routing policies simple. Simple, simple. So we have a total seven routing policy. First one is a simple routing policy. So as per the requirement of company, we can do that. Like uh, which routing policy you want to adopt? So write it on simple. What is a simple? One domain with one IP address. You cannot create one domain with a multiple IP address. That is not possible at all. I'll show you the demo. So before, let me just open my uh, Microsoft whiteboard. I've been already created some pictures over there, diagrams. I'll show you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, total six. That's enough. Okay. So here you can see that uh, first one simple routing. routing policy. See, so I have a domain name simple dot amazon test dot cf, right? I've been mapped to one dot one dot one dot two. So again, I created simple dot amazon test dot cf, and that is mapping to two dot two dot two dot two. That is not possible at all. You can have only one record for one domain name, okay? But if you want, see, we have an option over here. So that is multi-value answer. That's a different record that we will discuss, okay? If you're using symbol, you can have only one domain, one IP address. So let me create a uh, subdomain first, then I'll show you that. A anyway, already I have a two IP address now, right? Two virtual machine we already created. I'll do the demo with that, okay? So let me go to Route 53. So in this scenario, I'm going to select different hosted zone. As I said, I've been already created that. I'll go to my uh, hosted zone. So here I'm going to use uh, Amazon Test dot CF. You can see that Amazon Test dot CF. As of now, I don't have any records. I have only two default records. What are the two default records? What is NS? Okay. What is SOA? 
Okay, so you can see that Amazon test dot CF and uh, Amazon test dot CF, right? And both are actually equal to uh, what? Same, right? Okay. So now what I'm going to do here, I will create a simple routing policy. For that, you have to click create a record. Okay. So I'm going to create a record, and what is the uh, uh, name? I have to put symbol. We can give a symbol, not issue. Okay. So then I will give an IP address. So I'm going to my EC2. Then I will select one IP address. Go to EC2. Where is EC2? Open EC2. Dara? So first I, IP address I will select 104. First virtual machine one IP address. Let me try. I'll go to Mumbai region because actually we supposed to access Mumbai region. I created a virtual machine in Mumbai region. That's why. Okay, so I will select VM one first. What is the IP address of VM one? One node four. Please listen. VM one IP address one node four. So I'll get this IP address. I'll go to my Amazon Route fifty three and paste. Right. Okay. So here I selected which rule? Simple, Simple routing, routing policy. And if you want, you can select multiple weighted geo location latency. And right. failover multi-value answer IP based, right? So TTL I am going to select uh, one minute. That is enough. Then create a record. And record I am going to select because it is IP v4. That's what. Successfully I created, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I am going to create one more record for that. Create a record. So again I will call it as simple. Okay, simple dot uh, so Amazon test dot cf. So in this scenario I am just going to take second IP address, mm -hmm. not first one, second IP address, and paste. And uh, one minute. Uh, that's a TTL and simple routing policy. Record type is A and policy is simple routing. Create a record. And what error are we getting over here? Already. But it already exists, right? See simple Amazon dot TF that is already exists by using simple routing policy. You can have one to one relationship. Okay. Suppose if you want to create multiple, for example, simple dot uh, uh, Amazon dot TF. So multiple IP address. That's going to multi multiple IP address. What what are you going to do then? multi value answer okay so that's what uh, we have another routing policy so that is called multi value answer okay and you can create two different record and that is pointing to different domain name then where it will be rooted that's my question see i have a two ip address over here right and same domain name then where it will be routed so which server will be able to access randomly it will select one server for example so when you access in first time it will go to first server then you will refresh right it will go to second server refresh third server randomly it will select one server i will show you that so for that i have to go to my route 53 again again i will uh, get the public ap address so let me go to server instance i'll go to my virtual machine one copy the public ap address go to route 53 uh, just close this error first then i'll go to amazon test dot cf again okay so create a record again so here i will call it as multi value okay because now we going to apply multi value dot super good sorry amazon dot cf right mm. okay so provide your domain name first 104 so when you have to select a 1 minute ttl what is the policy name multi, multi, multi value, value answer okay fine i selected successfully record a so create a record Okay, so at that time actually we have to provide one ID, unique ID, so we can provide one, two, three, four, no issue. That's a unique ID. That's it. Okay, you cannot provide same ID. For example, one, one, one. That you cannot provide. Okay, if you have a two domain, then you have to provide one, two. That's possible. So create a record. So creating record successfully, it's created. That you can see over here, multi value Amazon dot uh, dot CF, and that is type is multi value, right? And that is pointing. One zero four server. Okay, so I'll I'll create one more record. So for that, click create a record. So take your second IP address one one four. So go to uh, your route fifty three. So what name have to put? Multi value. So we have to use multi value. You can see that. Uh, then I'll paste my IP address. This is one one four. TTL one minute and record type that is a multi value answer and record uh, type is what? Yeah. Okay. So can I select one? No. no. Let me try. Create a record. See, uh, what is the error we getting? See, one is already existing over here. So we have to use two. Then create a record, and it will it will be work. 
see it it's working right so now i created two records on multi value answer so same domain name but two different ip address here you can see there 104114 right okay i'll go to my check web host then i'll try to access the domain name what is the domain name multi value dot amazon test dot cf let me try http protocol and here you can see that randomly it is selecting one ip address see uh, from region austria it is selecting 104 ip address from region brazil it is selecting 114 from bulgaria 114 okay what about india 114 right so randomly it is selecting one ip address 104 114 104 114, 114 like that it will select okay there is a there is a not specific server randomly they will select one ip address okay so next we going to discuss about uh, next routing policy and that is weighted what is a weighted which means weighted ah yeah so we can do load balancing by using weighted see so we have a load balancer right so that's a specific region based suppose if you want to create a load balancer in the region then how to do so at that time actually we can take advantage of route 53 in route 53 we can do in the region load balancing as well so i'll explain that So first we have to understand what is a weighted. So just write it down. Weighted. We can impose weight for virtual machine. Okay, then write it down. Multi value first. We can have multiple IP address. We can have multiple IP address for one domain. One domain. It will. Select random virtual machine when user hitting the domain name. Randomly, it will select one domain. Sorry, virtual machine when user hitting the domain. Name. Okay. So a uh, next point, uh, weighted. So now we going to Im implement weighted. How to implement weighted routing policy? Hmm. How about that? User hitting domain. Name. Okay. So next weighted. so we can impose wait for virtual machine ip address we can impose wait for virtual machine ip address it will consider wait when user requesting for content it will consider wait okay for example which is the highest wait for, for example i have a two server server 1 having a wait number 80 and server 2 having wait number 20 then most of the request will be routed to Wait number eighty. So which is the most? Okay, it will be routed to there because that server having more capacity. That's what. Okay. So listen. So consider this. So consider this. Okay. So consider I have two servers: server one and server two. Okay. This is my server one and this is my server two. And server one having around four virtual CPU and uh, eight gigabytes RAM, random access memory. Server two having one virtual CPU and uh, one virtual CPU, whatever it can be. CPU, virtual CPU and one RAM and random access memory, whatever it can be. See, so this is the uh, highest configuration system, right? Yes. Okay, I can create a weight over here, for example, eight, and this is for twenty. So when my user is accessing, eighty percent request will be go to eighty, eighty, and twenty. Consider I have a hundred request, so eighty will be go to. This server and twenty requests will be go to my second server. That's it. the same. Actually, we going to do. So I will create some artificial uh, like traffic from this region, and almost eighty percent requests will be go to uh, my first server, and twenty uh, requests will go to my second server. I'll show you the calculation as well. Hmm? Waiter, we can impose wait for virtual machine or IP address. IP address, and it will consider wait when user requesting for content. Requesting for content for highest weight virtual machine will get. How much? For highest, for highest weight virtual machine will get. For highest weight virtual machine will get. Most of the request from user. Most of the request from user and lowest weight VM will get less request, very less, comparatively high. Okay, then. No, do it. Bur bur. 
കൺസിഡർ വെർ ഇസ് എ കൺസിഡർ ആ അവിടെ എത്തിയിട്ടുള്ളൂ സിബിടാണോ so it will consider wait when user requesting for it will consider wait when wait uh, when user requesting for i'll do one thing i'll just make it readable okay pa kaanunnada dalo See, so waited and uh, we have three. We can emboss wait for virtual machine IP address. It will consider wait when user requesting for content. For highest wait PM will be get most of the request from user. Lowest wait PM will be get less request from the user. Done? Done? Yeah. Okay, now we will uh, head over to the lab. Like how to create a waited uh, like a uh, routing policy. Okay. See, the benefit is, see, uh, we were discussing about inter-region load balancing, right? Sorry, sir. I'll give an example for that. so i created one load balancer in us east region this is my us east region okay us east one region and this is ap south what is ap south which region it is mumbai, mumbai region five so you can see that i have a load balancer over here under my load balancer i have a two target group or whatever it can be okay and this is routing into two target group so each target group i'll be have a multiple virtual machine uh, here you can see that we already discussed same as So I have one target group and one load balancer, multiple virtual machine over here, right? See, I can access to this particular load balancer, right? So this particular load balancer will be have a particular domain name, right? Right? Yes, What I can do here, I can create a route fifty three over here. Then I can define one policy. What policy? What policy? Weighted policy. Okay, I can create a weighted policy when I'm accessing www dot load balancer lb dot com. So eighty will be lb eighty will be go to Here our twenty uh, will be go to this load balancer. Suppose if you want to distribute the traffic evenly, then you can replace this eighty with the fifty and fifty, and uh, it will be distributed fifty fifty. So this is inter-region load balancer, okay? And this is regional load balancer, and this is inter-region load balancer. That's we can do it, okay? Small flexibility. So next I'll go to weighted load balancer. Listen, I'll go to my route fifty three again. So let's start. Huh? Okay. So uh, let me create a weighted routing policy. Okay. So for that, let me get a public IP address of server one again. I'll get the one zero four server IP address. Go to route fifty three. So create your account. So I'll select your subdomain. So I will select weighted. W e i g h t e d. Right? Yes. Weighted. So I'll put my public IP address of server one. uh then i will select uh, dtl that is a 300 second and policy weighted. weighted we have to select weighted okay so come down we have to select uh, health check id that is optional we no need to do that as of now okay so we ha we have to do that uh, while we doing failover routing policy i'll show you how to create a health check and all so uh, but we have to select uh, record id that is a one and one more wait so as we discussed i will give 80 percentage weight for my server one So most of the requests will be go to server one. server one. So then I will create this record. For that you have to click create a record. So successfully we created a record. You can see that successfully it's done. Yeah. So we have a weighted record over here. Weighted dot Amazon dot CF and weighted and port number sorry eighty weight is getting and IP address one zero four right. So I'll create one more record. Create a record. So go to instance select your virtual machine two. spelling correct la da waited okay so i will paste my public ip address then i will select ttl that is a 1 minute again i will select my waited so i will put wait as 20 then record id 2 okay then i will create a record again so now i have a two records on a same domain name right okay let's see what happened see waited waited and 80 20 20 So let me try to access weighted Amazon dot cf. Copy this. I uh, go to uh, my check course web website testing. Then I'll paste over here weighted Amazon test dot cf http. And here you can see that uh, so the request most of the request is going to one zero four and randomly it is going to one one four. So let me count how many region I have total. So can you please? Okay. 
టెన్ ఓకే టెన్ టెన్ దెన్ సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ వన్ ట్వంటీ టూ ట్వంటీ త్రీ రైట్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ దెన్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ ట్వంటీ నైన్ థర్టీ థర్టీ వన్ థర్టీ టూ థర్టీ త్రీ థర్టీ ఫోర్ సో టోటల్ ఐ హ్యావ్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఐ గోట్ రైట్ హౌ మెనీ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఐ గోట్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ రిక్వెస్ట్ లెట్ మీ జస్ట్ క్యాల్కులేట్ క్యూక్లీ సో టోటల్ ఐ గోట్ టోటల్ రిక్వెస్ట్ what is the value 34 right so let me calculate how many uh, server uh, to server to how many we got request okay let me go to my test again so it's like how many 114 is there 114 1 2 3 okay we have a 3 now 4 5 6 7 7 so we have a seven request we got right okay let me try so total i got seven request vm2 vm2 i got seven request what about vm1 eh hey? sorry okay i got 27 right let me calculate now so how to calculate eh hey, 34 ah so let me just take a calculator so first i will divided by this 34 by 100 okay so 34 divided by 100 let me try 100 so what is the value 0.0.34 okay 0.34 so 34 into uh, 80 right because we given 80 percentage let's try what about second one 0.34 into okay 20 percentage let's try <coughs> okay what is the value can anyone please calculate let me try 0.34 into 80 and that is equal to 27.2 right so approximately 27 that's fine what about over here 6.8 and we got almost right in the sense 7 almost we got okay so that's it okay so it is spreading the calculation that is working perfectly right you got it bro okay so almost 7 we got over here and uh, 27 request that is going to bm1 and uh, 6.8 like uh, request be going to 2 that's it okay any doubt any doubt no so next routing policy will discuss about write it down fail over fail over or as do one thing geo location so first we'll discuss geo location then we'll go with the failover geo location geo location eh edi edi ela geo location edi adha ambo sugan geo location failover helps okay appo ningale last kanchala geo location write down it will send the traffic based on your user location geo location geo location it will send the traffic based user location comma if user resides india traffic will go to india server i'll repeat once again it will send the traffic based on user location if user resides india traffic will go to india server so consider so consider i don't have any server in us so when you us, us people is accessing to this website where it will go no so actually i don't have any server in us first of all then eh yes. huh? no we don't have any option to select nearest see he cannot access that website okay he cannot access the website i'll show you that see i'm going to create two region one is mumbai another one is india whatever it can be only from india we can access that particular application server like virtual machine 104 from us i can access 114 server i'll show you that apart from like uh, whatever anybody is accessing to that application they cannot they cannot access i'll show you that first first let me create two records i'll go i'll go to my virtual machine then i will get virtual machine one public ip address 104 okay i'll go to amazon uh, route 53 so create a record so what should i put 
जियो लोकेशन जियो लोकेशन वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट देन आई विल सेलेक्ट रिकॉर्ड टाइप ए देन आई विल पेस माय आईपी एड्रेस 104 एंड दिस इज आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट इन इंडिया ओके टू क्रिएट इन इंडिया वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट जियो लोकेशन सो वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड वन जियो लोकेशन आईडी सो दैट इज इंडिया वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट इंडिया ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट इंडिया एंड रिकॉर्ड टाइप आईडी इज अ वन फाइन Eh, yeah, that's it. Ah, uh, one minute. That is not mandatory, but even we can. So create a record. So now I created a record, a geolocation record for India people, one zero four server. Okay. So I'm going to create one more server for United States. For that, uh, select virtual machine two. Uh, select IP address one one four. Right. So go to your Amazon Route fifty three. Create your record. Select your subdomain. That is geolocation. Same subdomain. जियो लोकेशन फाइन सेलेक्ट वन वन फोर आई पी एड्रेस देन वन मिनट एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ सिंपली बिल सेलेक्ट जियो लोकेशन लोकेशन आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट वर यूनाइटेड स्टेट ओके वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट यूनाइटेड स्टेट लेट मी सेलेक्ट यूनाइटेड स्टेट ओके सो देन रिकॉर्ड आई डी आई विल सेलेक्ट टू देन हेल्थ से दैट इज ऑप्शनल नॉट रिकॉर्ड एट ऑल इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन डू दैट क्रिएट ए रिकॉर्ड successfully we created i'll just go through that now see one is india another one is india belongs to which server 10 server and united states 114 let me get the public domain name uh, i'll go to my website then let me try to access okay so paste http and you can see that we not able to access the particular server but Uh, let me try to access one second. Okay, let me refresh. See, from United States, we able to access one one four server, right? For India, it's not able to access. Let's refresh. We might be able to okay. because it will take some time to propagate all over the world. Let's wait. No, but still, uh, like from US, actually, we are able to access one one four server, right? Let's wait. You can see that only the US people only can access 114 server, but we are not getting India as well. So it will take might be some time. Anyway, uh, just keep over there. We can try after some time. Okay. So next one, write it down. So if you have a VPN connection, you can just go through there as well. So create, take a VPN. Is it? One not four. One not four. One not four. Where? For India location. For India. Ah, we supposed to get from there, right? Except for India, only India will work, and other countries will be disabled. No, no, it is supposed to work. See, while we executing this HTTP command, automatically is supposed to work. Okay, see, listen, listen. So now you can see that from India, I am able to access which IP address? One, one zero four, and from US, from US, and I hope you understood the concept. See, from India, only we are able to access that particular server. See. Except India, like Ukraine and UK, UAE, they are also trying to access, right? But they are not able to access any one of the server, right? But when India is accessing, India is able to access which server? One zero four server. Quite simple. So, if you are getting any question like uh, how to restrict some particular region, we can go with this, right or wrong? Yes, sir. Exactly. Okay. So next, write it down. Not fail over latency. Next latency. latency based okay so here you can see that i have been already uh, created diagram as well as today see so this is geo location based see uh, so this is canada and this is us and uk india right see uh, you can see over here uh, so this user is actually it's nearby location canada right so he can access to this server but even though he is accessing to particular us server you getting the concept right see the us people they can only access us server okay UK people they can only access UK server. Yeah. See, actually, this uh, user can access uh, this server like uh, uh, so. I think uh, comparatively less distance, right? Yeah. So when we accessing UK, same as this US US uh, like a user, he can access to Canada yeah. server yeah. because the latency that is a very less over there, right? But even though he is accessing to US server only, okay. But when we comparing latency based, 
So what different you can find over here based on latency and geolocation? Can anyone? Yes. Yes. Eh? Yes. Nearest location. See, even I have to select the region Australia or US. But this you can see that so this user that is residing in Australia region, right? But he actually is checking based on latency. So which is the nearest uh, like endpoint or server? So that particular server this user will be able to access. Okay. So suppose you're getting question from interviewer. So how to reduce my latency? Like uh, I I don't want latency, so I want to reduce the time between the time like the source and destination. So we can go with the latency based. Okay. So everything is according to the client requirement. So what is the client requirement? We can go with that. But you should have a thorough knowledge on this concept. Then only you can do it. Okay. All policies like whatever you can. Okay. Let me implement this policy first. So for that I'll go to latency based. So let me get the public API address of virtual machine one. So one zero four. Okay. Go to uh, our hosted zone. I will create one more record. Create a record. What is it? Latency. latency. Okay. I'll call it as latency. So paste your public API address. One minute TTL. Routing policy that is latency. So now we will check a region. Okay. Region I'm going to select uh, India. or i will select mumbai we can select mumbai okay asia pacific mumbai okay so record id i will select one record successfully done so i'll create one more record for that record i will give second virtual machine public ip address latency yeah done yes. so i'll paste my uh, public ip address 114 so 60 second uh, my tta select latency routing policy So region I will select uh, UK or United Kingdom. We can select. So let me select Hong Kong. Hong Kong that is enough. Asia Pacific Hong Kong. Okay. Record ID two. Then create a record. So now I created two record. One is for Hong Kong. Another one is for <coughs> Mumbai. Mumbai. Fine. So now I'll try to access. Uh, let me just copy this domain name. Uh, where is my latency? Okay. Latency Amazon dot st. Yeah. Copy. Copy this and paste. Access. and you can see that each region they will go to the nearest region okay we have only two region so when we comparing india or hong kong okay so let's see uh, you can see that us us that is going to 114 114 that is nearest to hong kong whatever it can be okay and that is going to 114 so when you come to india that is going to 104 because for india people nearest location is mumbai okay that's what based on latency if you want you can find the latency as well over here see 0.270 seconds 270 seconds or milliseconds whatever it can be okay so we can do ping as well let's try what is the time so you can see that round time trip see rtt rtt means round time trip okay and that is only uh, maximum 124.7 milliseconds okay so very less la la latency we can access the services suppose if you want to reduce lat latency in each region you can deploy one one virtual machine for example mumbai region one and india region one like like that you can do it see now you can see that this two virtual machine i created on same region right but you should not do that you have to create this virtual machine on particular region for example if you want to reduce the latency uh, then you have to go to uh, us united states first there you have to create a virtual machine for as a us represent Okay, that you have to do. Okay, latency based. Any doubt? Yeah. Eh? Deploy same as see. Select launch instance, then deploy the same region. See now it's a Mumbai region, right? So I created virtual machine on Mumbai region. Suppose if you want to reduce latency, you have to go to United States. There you have to deploy the application. Okay, that's it. Any doubt? Any doubt? Doubt now, doubt now, doubt now. Hello. Okay, then uh, write it down. Latency based routing. Latency based routing. Sorry. Latency based routing. Write it down. Latency, latency. So now we'll discuss about health check and failover. That is enough. Okay. So latency based routing. It will determine less latency and it will route the ideal server or the particular server. it will determine the less latency and it will route to the ideal server or particular server okay 
to the ideal server or particular server so now we will discuss about uh, route 53 failover fail what is a failover ha eh? ah see listen so here you can see that uh, i have a domain name domain name that is failover.amazon.cf right failover.amazon.cf and each are pointing different different server right so this is my primary server and this is my secondary server see consider my primary server that is working well then it will be routed to primary only it will not route to secondary but consider a scenario due to some reasons primary server goes down then automatically it will go to secondary server so for that we have to check the health check of our website every 1 minute or every 2 minute okay so health check we need to create manually then only we can do that okay if your server one that is not working automatically that will be routed to secondary server anyway we will be have some minimal downtime over there for example 1 minute or 2 minute so let's see how to do in action any doubt no i'll go to my uh, first i'll go to my route 53 let me get the virtual machine one public ip address so i am going to select virtual machine one 104 is my primary server and 114 is my secondary server so go to your amazon test.cf so create your account so then select uh, fail over so i will select fail over select your public ip address dtl one so instead of selecting policies we can select uh, what fail over okay fail over policy so here you can see that health check id So this is important health check ID. So we have to provide health check ID. So next failover record type. So that is primary and secondary. So what does it mean primary? First one I will select primary. So then I will select uh, secondary record ID. So record ID one. So health check you can see that we don't have any health check as of now, right? To create health check, so we have to go to uh, left side. So here we have an option. What is it? Okay. Let me open in a new tab. Okay, so create a health check. Just click on create a health check. So provide any name. So I am going to give virtual machine one. That's my virtual machine one name, right? Yes. So beneath will be have an option IP address or domain name. So I have IP address. So I will select IP address. Okay. So go to your virtual machine. Select your virtual machine one IP address one zero four. Go to your Amazon uh, health check. Yes. Then paste your okay. IP address over here. Okay. So come down. So advanced configuration. So I need to make it fast. That's what we will select fast within ten seconds. They will give information whether it is healthy or unhealthy. Okay. So come down. Then I will select fail threshold three. Okay. Then I will select uh, one. What is the minimum value one? Okay. Minimum value one. Fail threshold one. That's enough. Okay. So come down. So then next. Then create a health check. Suppose if you want to notify that through SNS. Okay. Then you can create get notified when health check fail. simple notification service so that also we can create we know what is sns service right okay so create a health check successfully created uh, i'll go to my health check again and you will be able to find one health check over here see what is the status and no. so within one minute it will be uh, become to healthy so let's wait so i'll create one more health check for my vm2 so go to create a health check and select your name vm2 then protocol HTTP and what is IP address? Okay, I will select VM2 IP address, then paste. Okay, fine. So then I will select uh, yeah advanced configuration. Make it fast uh, within one second. Okay. So then next, create a health check. Successfully created, and you can see that VM1 that is pretty healthy. That's what it is healthy status only. Okay. So same as we have to wait a couple of seconds to healthy our virtual machine two as well. Anyway, I am going to create two records now. Okay, for that we have to go to Amazon. Uh, we have to go to Amazon Route fifty three. Let me just refresh. Get the public IP address one virtual machine one public IP address. I'll go to my virtual machine. Fail over. And paste the public IP address one zero four one second sorry sixty second. Select failover. Health check which is I select VM one okay and record type that I am going to select primary and this is one record one then create a record. 
so now i created one record for failover this is the primary server so when i'm accessing to this domain name so by default it will be routed to this domain name this ip address okay so let me create one more record create a record so i'll create a domain uh, same okay failover but i will uh, give a different ip address let me select virtual machine 2 ip address and paste 60 second dtl and select failover and health check that i'm going to give to record type secondary so that's my standby server or failover server okay and record id that we can give what no 2 exactly so create a record i selected two record you can see that record 1 and record 2 where is it primary and secondary and failover failover the same uh, domain name right so copy the public ip address then go to where okay our website checking check host then paste uh -huh. then https http and you will be get 10 server obviously see the reply you getting from 104 right i am getting from 10 server so let's wait a couple of seconds so i'll go to my virtual machine one eh what refresh should i okay ah i'll say okay see i am getting 10 server right okay i'll go to my virtual machine uh, for that you have to go to virtual machine one connect server then i will stop my http application so once i stop, stop my http application automatically so health check will be fail it will become unhealthy so then the traffic will be routed to second server automatically let me go to my server one so i'll become root then i will stop my daemon for that system ctl yeah system ctl so we can use stop command and httpd right so then i'll get the public ip address then i will search whether it is a working or not okay it's not working right we not getting page see this site can't be reached right let me go to my route 53 health checking so then i will check what is the health condition for that go to health checking then refresh so both are healthy now right healthy so we have to wait Uh, at least one to two minutes. Is the load balance or not? The load balance is not part of it. The payda or payda or no, that fault tolerance, standby or not. On the load or not, the load will go. Load balance is waited. Primary, I am aru. Primary wound, but the primary is not going to go. Because primary load is there. That's why. Since still we can see that it is healthy. So as long as it is healthy, the traffic will be routed to that particular server only. But once it become unhealthy, then traffic will go to second, second second server. Second. So let's wait one minute. So once it unhealthy, then we'll try. Okay. So listen. So now you can see that my virtual machine one that is became unhealthy, right? So now I'll try to access. So what is the server number over here? So IP address. 104 let me refresh and it will take might be some time ah so now you can see the, what is the ip address 114, 114 again so again you can go to server 1 then you can start your http server automatically the traffic will be redirected to server number 1 primary okay that is the concept of failover so if you getting question you can like uh, just put over there any doubt no so we 